After I made that video of Scott Kelly supposedly returning from ISS, making his way back to Earth supposedly, of course, never been in space, like I said so many times, just taking a look again at this footage, I mean, it's completely ridiculous. Let's go back to this scene here, which this is supposedly Earth. Now, one thing I find interesting, I'll play this for those that have not seen it. Just take a look, supposedly the Soyuz, the Russian spacecraft, supposedly returning back to Earth. And this symbolism here, all you do is flip this around, and all this is is an Illuminati pyramid. So all this is it's a complete joke if this is supposedly Earth. Let's just take a look at the footage. Let's move it up a little bit. It's complete garbage, like I stated before. Can you see the Earth? Yes. Looks like an Atari 2600 video game. And from that Soyuz looking like that, and then they, just under they bring into this footage of this parachute supposedly returning to Earth. But what happened to the Soyuz itself? Does it just disintegrate? Give me a break. Now, again, talking about the footage of this supposed Earth, like I said, this is nothing more than mockery. A complete joke. Let's look at some footage here from supposedly aboard the ISS. Let's compare the distance and this what this is supposed to be Earth to this footage here. You see a difference? Let's take a look. How do you go from this? This is fake, by the way, as well. Oh, right now here's right the, so Africa. the Soyuz it's right here. They're going to show. As you can tell. But we're right over the continent of Africa. Hey, what's that? I think that's a Soyuz spacecraft. This is what they supposedly used to return to Earth. So how do they go from this vantage point right above Earth to this garbage? Unbelievable. And again, it's all mockery. You know, I mean, why would they be this far? Why would they make it this difficult for themselves to travel this great distance in this vantage point when they could be supposedly right above Earth and go straight down? So again, it's all about mockery. Just a little inside joke on the masses, again, with this Illuminati pyramid basically sideways. The graphics here reminds me of Atari 2600. Just take a look at this from Atari 2600 Indiana Jones. This is what it reminds me of. This kind of garbage graphics. Now, talking about space and the conditioning and programming, like I've said so many times, we live on a flat earth under a dome. Now, this is what they give us back in the 80s, the tiny to see in the minds about space with space invaders. And that's what it's all about. Just take a listen to this old commercial back from the 80s about space invaders. Just listen to what this man says. I find this pretty interesting. Out here we entertain ourselves at home. So we got an Atari video game. There's so many different games to play. We especially like space invaders. Zapping those little devils from outer space. It's an old idea of creatures from outer space is a little far-fetched. All about the thought of the alien invasion. I'll get into that in a little bit. Just taking a look again at the front cover of Space Invaders. It's called a game program. Basically, it's all about programming the youth. That's what it's all about. Just take a look at some other titles here, like Defender. Again, it's all about an alien invasion. And interesting enough, again, this man calls them little devils from outer space. There are no aliens. Aliens are just demons. So they're making that connection for you as well. As a form of mockery, demon attack as well. Because there are no aliens. I find this interesting. I saw this review. Listen to what this guy says about space invaders. Thinking about what it would really be like if aliens from outer space invaded Earth. And there you go. That's the whole concept behind it. Just other games based around space. This game called Starship. Of course, again, game program. They even have pigs in space. Have space jockey. Now you tell these people who grew up in the 80s about space. They're playing Defender here. Tell them 
We live on a flat earth with a dome. After playing games like this, watching movies about space, what, you know, going to school and learning all about space, science, NASA, of course they're going to believe they've been programmed in every aspect of their lives. Now, everybody has seen this game, I'm sure, that's grew up in the 80s. It's called Super Breakout. Just take a look at this game. It's basically just a paddle hitting a ball against basically a wall. Now, here is the cover. Again, more programming. Super Breakout, where do they have astronauts? What do astronauts have anything to do with this game? With this ball being hit against the ceiling, against this wall? Again, it's all about the thought of space. All about program. Again, even when you leave the home, again, when you go see movies or go to the arcade like back in the 80s with Galaga, basically a Space Invaders clone. You have Exevious, the same thing with space, with these UFOs. So again, every aspect of our lives. We continue on to the 90s. Let's take a look at Space Ace. You see the Illuminati Pyramid, those behind the scenes, these companies. And I find this interesting as well. It's 14 levels of laser lunacy. And I find that interesting. The fact that those that know about the occult of 33, LL is 33. So again every aspect and they're telling you who's behind the scenes you know, with this programming with these video games you know, again as I mentioned many times movies video games people let their guard down and don't realize what's taking place and I find this photo interesting as well with Steven Spielberg with his own space invaders and he knows what this is all about I'm talking about fake space here is an interesting clip played many times in the past in my you know, my previous channel with Ronald Reagan talking about a potential for an alien invasion. This is going to be used, I believe, in the future to, do, to basically you know, create the new world order with the fake alien invasion. Take a listen. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And there you go. Just like I stated, the game Space Invaders, and that's what it's all about. Programming. And interesting enough, as Ronald Reagan is speaking about a potential alien invasion uniting the world, what is right above him? A representation of the Flat Earth. This is how the so-called elite love to mock, as I mentioned so many times, Here's more recently with the Pope and the UN logo, which again, as I mentioned, and many people know, it's nothing more than the flat earth model. Again, all in plain sight as usual. Space, a final frontier. Space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. Fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. The force can have a strong influence on the weak mind.